Hello, I'm Srinath, a developer in the Stateflow team. Today, we'll learn about Stateflow variants. This feature allows you to take a single Stateflow chart and generate code for different configurations from it. This enables you to deploy different versions of code from this chart onto different hardware configurations. Let's start with the Stateflow chart, which represents the logic of a power system controller with a backup battery and a battery charge indicator. We start with the on state and we transition to the backup state when the input power goes to zero. While in the backup state, we switch back and forth between the OK state and the low state, depending on the battery charge. Finally, when the state of the battery is zero, we transition to the off state. After a few years, we decide to sell two cheaper versions of this power system. One which does not have an indicated light and one which does not even have a battery backup. In order to do this, we need to introduce some extra logic into the chart. Let's see what that looks like. We now have two additional substates right under the battery backup state, an indicator state and a no indicator state. We use a parameter has indicator to control whether or not we want to exercise the indicator light logic. Similarly, we use another parameter called has backup to either transition to the battery backup state or directly to the off state when the power is off. The problem arises when we try to generate code for this chart. When we look at the generated code, we see that it has both the logic and the variables needed to maintain the active child of the indicator state. This is unnecessary and potentially expensive when we deploy this code on a hardware configuration which will never have an indicator light. So the question becomes, how do we generate code for a specific hardware configuration? One way you could specialize the code for different hardware configurations is to make a copy of the state chart and delete portions of the state chart which are unnecessary for that specific configuration. As you can imagine, that will be a huge maintenance burden. The solution really is to use variant transitions, which is a new feature starting in 2020A. Variant transitions can be thought of as decisions which you make not at code execution time, but earlier when Simulink Coder generates code or when you compile the code for a specific target. Let's do that for these two transitions. The has backup transition, we'll treat that as a variant transition. And also treat the indicator transition as a variant transition. The state chart now effectively models three different software configurations. One with a backup battery and an indicator light. One with a bat backup battery but no indicator light. And one without a backup battery entirely. Let us generate code for this chart for the configuration with a battery backup but no indicator. To do this, we need to set values for the parameters has backup and has indicator. So we will set has backup to true and has indicator to false. Now let's take a look at how the generated code would look like with variant transitions. The first thing to notice is that after you have done generating code, Stateflow will de-highlight portions of the state chart which are inactive for the particular configuration you're interested in. Let's take a look at the C code. We see that it is pretty minimal. The logic for the backup state does not have any of the code for choosing the indicator substate. When we examine the data structures needed to, needed to run the generated code, we also see a reduction. We previously had a variable for the current child of the indicator state. Now it is gone. Optionally, you can choose to generate code for all hardware configurations, but guarded by preprocessor pragmas. Let's see how that code looks like. To do this, we select the option to generate preprocessor conditionals for variant transitions. We now see that the code is guarded by preprocessor pragmas. The variables needed to run the generated code are also guarded by preprocessor pragmas. In summary, variant transitions allow you to generate different versions of code from a single state flow chart. You can choose the active configuration at code generation time or at code compilation time using preprocessor pragmas.